God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Son, and have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Let us be pleased, O Lord, the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Unto the liberty of your Lord, hear my cry, attend unto the voice of my supplication, O my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning thou shalt hear my voice. In the morning shall I stand before thee, and thou shalt look upon me. For not a God that willest iniquity art thou, be that work and evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgress or divide before thine eyes. Thou hast hated all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy all them that speak a lie. A man that is bloody and deceitful shall the Lord of war, but as for me in the multitude of thy mercy shall I go to thy house. I shall worship toward thy holy temple in fear of thee. O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies make my way straight before thee. For in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues have they spoken deceitfully. Judge them, O God, let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness. Cast them out, for they have embittered thee, O Lord. And let all them be glad that hope in thee. They shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them. And all shall glory in thee that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous, O Lord, and with a shield of thy good pleasure hast thou crowned us. Why have the heathen raged and the people's meditated empty things? The kings of the earth were aroused and the rulers were assembled together against the Lord and against his Christ. Let us break their bonds asunder and let us cast away their yoke from us. He that dwelleth in the heavens shall laugh them to scorn and the Lord shall deride them. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and his anger shall he trouble them. But as for me, I was established as king by him upon Zion, his holy mountain, proclaiming the commandment of the Lord. The Lord said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I will give thee the nations for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt curb them with a rod of iron, thou shalt shatter them like a potter's vessels. And now, ye kings, understand, be instructed, all ye that judge here. Serve ye the Lord with fear, and rejoice in him with trembling. Lay hold of destruction, lest at any time the Lord be angry, and he perish from the righteous way. When quickly his wrath be kindled, blessed are all they that have put their trust in him. O God, my God, attend unto me, why hast thou forsaken me? Far from my salvation are the words of my transgressions. My God, I will cry by day, and will thou not hearken? And by night, and it shall not be a folly for me. But as for thee, thou dwellest in the sanctuary, O praise of Israel. In thee have our fathers hoped, they hoped, and thou didst deliver them. Unto thee they cried and were saved, in thee they hoped and were not brought to shame. But as for me, I am a worm and not a man, a reproach of men and the outcast of the people. All that look upon me have laughed me to scorn, they have spoken with their lips and have wagged their heads. He hoped in the Lord, let him deliver him, let him save him, for he desired him. For thou art he that draws me forth from the womb of my hope, from the breast of my mother. On thee was I cast from the womb, from my mother's womb, thou art my God. Depart not from me, for tribulation is nigh, for there is none to help me. Many bullocks have encircled me, fat bulls have surrounded me. They have opened their mouth against me as my lion, ravenous and roaring. I have been poured out like water, and scattered are all my bones. My heart has become like wax, melting in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue hath leaved under my throat, and into the dust of death hast thou brought me down. For many gods have encircled me, the congregation of evildoers have surrounded me. 
They have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones, and they themselves have looked and stared upon me. They have parted my garments among themselves, and for my vesture have they cast lots. But thou, Lord, remove not thy help far from me, attend unto my name. Rescue my soul from the sword, even this only begotten one of mine from the hand of a dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion and my loneliness from the horns of the unicorn. I will declare thy name unto my brethren, in the midst of the church will I hymn thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye that are of the seed of Jacob, glorify him. Let all fear him that are of the seed of Israel, for he hath not said it not, nor abhorred the supplications of the pauper, nor hath he turned his face from me, and when I cried unto him, he hearkened unto me. From thee is my prayer, this great church will I confess thee. My vows will I pay before them that fear thee. The poor shall even be filled, and they that seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live forever and ever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and shall turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he himself is sovereign of the nations. All they that be fat upon the earth have eaten in worship. All they that go down into the earth shall fall down before him. Yea, my soul liveth for him, and my seed shall serve him. The generation that cometh shall be told of the Lord, and they shall proclaim his righteousness to a people that shall be born, which the Lord hath made. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let thy hand has been destroyed by the crucifixion of Christ. The might of the enemy has been trampled down. For thy murder and angel murder and the blood has saved us. O Lord, glory to thee. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace, heaven for from thee shown forth mm -hmm. the Son of Righteousness? Paradise for thou hast unit forth the flower of immortality. Virgin for thou hast remained undefiled. Your mother, for thou hast held in thine arms the Son, who is God of all, beseech him to save our souls.
And then they be released for all us to them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. And the soldiers and the governor took Jesus into the crematorium and gathered the whole garrison around him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And when they twisted the crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off him, put his own clothes on him, and led him away to be crucified. Now as they came out, they found the man Simon and Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come to a place called Golgotha, which is to say, place of a skull, they gave him sour wine and he was a gall to drink. But when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then they crucified him and divided his garments, cast him off, that it might be fulfilled and spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, with my clothing, they cast lots. Sitting down, they kept watch over him there. And they put up over his head the accusation written against him, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and the other on the left. And to those who passed by blasphemed him, wagging at their heads, saying, You who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself, if you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests also mocking the scribes and elders said, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he is the king of Israel, let him not now come down from the cross, we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now, if he will have him, for he said, I am the Son of God. Even the robbers who were crucified with him revived him with the same thing. Now, from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over all the land. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of those who stood there, when they heard that cry, this man is calling for Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran into the sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed, and offered it to him to drink. The rest said, Let him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn into top to bottom. The earth was quaked, and the rocks were split. The graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints who were on the sea were raised. And coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those with him were guarding Jesus, saw the earthquake and the things that had happened, they feared greatly, saying, Truly, this was the Son of God. And many women who followed Jesus from Galilee ministered to him, were there looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's son.
God, the Lord of long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loveth the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers this hour and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every trouble, sorrow, evil, and pain. Come us about with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array. We may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou in the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and the uncomparable, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, need we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, God, be bountiful to us, and bless us, and shine light of us upon us, and be merciful to us. Amen. O Christ, the true light, who enlighten us and sanctify us, every man who comes into the world. Let the light of thy countenance shine upon us, that in it we may behold the unapproachable light and guide our footsteps aright to the keeping of thy commandments, through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. Judge them, O Lord, that through me injustice, war against them, and war against me. Take hold of weapon and shield and arise into my help. Draw the sword and shut the way against them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them that seek my soul be shamed and confounded. Let them be turned back and be utterly put to shame. They that devise evils against me. Let them become as dust before the face of the wind. An angel of the Lord also afflicting them. Let their way become darkness and a sliding. An angel of the Lord also pursuing them. For without cause have they secretly prepared for my destruction and their snare. Without reason have they cast reproach on my soul. Let a snare come upon him, which he knoweth not, but the trap which he hath hidden in catching, and into that same snare let it fall. For my soul shall rejoice in the Lord. It shall delight in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, O Lord, who is like unto thee, delivering the beggar from the hand of them that are stronger than he. Yea, poor man is pauper from them that despoil him. Unjust witnesses rose up against me. Things I knew not, they asked me. They repaid me with these things for good, and barrenness for my soul. But as for me, when they troubled me, I put on sackcloth. I humbled my soul and fasted, and my prayer shall return to my bosom. As though it had been a neighbor, as though it had been our brother, so sought I to plead, as one mourning and sad of countenance. So humbled I myself, that against me the rejoicing gathered together. The scourges were gathered together upon me, and I knew it not. They were rent asunder, they did not break their heart. They tempted me, they mocked me with mockery, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. O Lord, when wilt thou look upon me? Deliver my soul from their evil doing, even this only begotten one of mine from the lion. I will confess thee in the great congregation. Among the mighty people will I praise thee. Let not them rejoice against me that unjustly are my enemies. They that hate me without a cause and weep with their eyes. And for peaceably in me they spake unto me, but in their wrath were they devising seats. And they opened wide their mouth against me, and they said, O God, the sons of my eyes have seen. Thou hast seen it, O Lord, be not silent. O Lord, depart not from me. Arise, O Lord, and be attentive unto my judgment, my God, my Lord, unto my cause. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness, O Lord, my God. Let them not rejoice against me. Let them not say in their hearts, Well done, well done, our soul. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be shamed and confounded together who rejoice at my woe. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion who speak boastful words against me. Let them rejoice and be glad who desire the righteousness of my cause. Let them that desire the peace of thy servant say continually the Lord be magnified. My tongue shall treat of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. O God, my praise do not pass over in silence, for the mouth of the sinner and the mouth of the deceitful man are open against me. They have spoken against me with a deceitful tongue, and the words of me for death they encompass me, and they have warred against me without a cause. They have turned my love and falsely accused me, but as for me, I gave myself to prayer, and they repaid me evil for good and hatred for my love. 
Set thou a sinner over him, let the devil stand in his right hand. When he is judged, let him go forth condemned, let his prayer become sin. When he is let his days be few, and his bishopric let him undertake. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be vagabonds without a dwelling place. Let them die. Let them be cast out from their ruined dwelling. Let his creditors search out all the substance. Let strangers plunder all his labors. Let there be for him no helper, nor anyone to pity his father or his children. Let his children be given over to other destruction. The single generation of his name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord. Let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, and let the memory of them perish from off the earth. Because he remembered not to show mercy, and persecuted a man that was poor and a beggar, and one broken in heart that he might slay him. And he loved cursing, and it shall come upon him, and he delighted not in blessing, and it shall be far from him. And he put on cursing like garment, and it went in like water to his mouth, like oil into his bones. Let it be for him like a garment wherewith he is clothed, this is the dealing of the Lord with them that slander me, with them that speak evil things against my soul. Thou, Lord, O Lord, deal thou with me for thy name's sake, for thy mercy is good. Deliver me for a poor man of mine, a father. My heart is troubled within me, like a shadow when it declineth, and I take it away. I am shaken off as the locust. My knees are grown weak through fasting, and my flesh is changed along the oil. I have become a reproach unto them. They saw me and wagged their heads. Help me, O Lord my God, and save me according to thy mercy. Let them know that this is thy hand, and that thou, O Lord, hast wrought it. They will curse, and thou wilt bless. Let them that rise up against me be put to shame. But thy servant shall be glad. Let them that slander me be clothed with confusion. Let them be covered with shame as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. In the midst of many will I praise him. It stood at the right hand of the poor to save my soul from them that persecute me. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blood out of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee. But thou mightst be justified in thy words and prevail on thy child. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sins of my mother bear me. Behold, thou hast loved the truth, and hidden in the secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this up, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create to me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish thee. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, that thou my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it, but over and offerings thou shalt not be pleased. The sacrifice of the God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Good O Lord, and thy pleasure in Zion, and the walls of Jerusalem be done. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullets upon thy altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <laughs>
and you shall lie down in sorrow. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Brethren, when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received our reconciliation. Now we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to God. Salvation. Holy God, be mighty, holy, and wonderful, have mercy 
on us. Holy God, of the mighty, will be immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, of the mighty, will be immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and the ages of ages. Destruction. 
I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor and the justice of the paupers. Surely the righteous shall confess thy name, and the upright shall dwell in thy presence. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will go with him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. With a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope. Thou madest the Most High thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Upon the asp and the basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearten unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Christ, there be peace. 
fourth tone. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth. O Lord, how wonderful is thy name. Christ, save yourself and us. But 
The other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we have received the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise. Now it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened, the veil of the temple was torn in two. When Jesus cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. So when the centurion saw what had happened, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. The whole crowd came together to that side, seeing what had been done, beat their breasts, and returned. But all his acquaintances and the women who followed him from Galilee stood at a distance, watching these things. <laughs> Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, 
and by his precious cross did tear us under the handwriting of our sins, and thereby did triumph over the principalities and powers of darkness. Do thou thyself, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept also these prayers of thanksgiving and entreaty, and deliver us from every destructive and dark transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, that seek to do us evil. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts into words or thoughts of evil, but pierce our souls with longing for thee, so that ever looking to thee and being guided by thy light, as we behold thee, the unapproachable and everlasting light, we may send up unceasing praise and thanksgiving unto thee, the unoriginate Father, with thy only begotten Son, and thine all holy good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Savior God, for the waters are coming. I am unto my soul, I am stuck fast in the mire of the deep. There is no shore standing, I am coming to the deeps of the sea. And the tempest hath overwhelmed me. I am growing weary with crying, my throat has become hoarse. From my hoping in my God, my eyes have failed me. They have hate me without a cause, or multiply more than the hairs of my head. My enemies have grown strong, they have persecuted me unjustly. Then did I restore that which I took not away. O God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my transgressions are not hid from thee. Let not them that wait on me be ashamed for my sake, O Lord, thou art a host. Nor let them that seek out to be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, and an alien unto the sons of my mother. For the zeal of thy house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproached thee are fallen on me. Yea, with fasting I covered my soul, and it was turned into a reproach for me. And I was made, I made sackcloth for my clothing, and I became a proverb to them. And they prated against me, they that sit in the gates, and they made a song about me, they that drink wine. But as for me, with my prayer I cry unto thee, O Lord, it is time for thy good pleasure. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hearken unto me, in the truth of thy salvation. Save me from the mire, that I be not stuck therein, that I be delivered from them that hate me, and from the deeps of the waters. Let not the tempest of water overwhelm me, nor let the deep swallow them up, nor let the pit shut its mouth upon me. Hearken unto me, O Lord, till thy mercy is good, according to the multitude of thy compassion. Look upon me. Turn not thy countenance away from thy servant, for I am afflicted. But they hearken unto me, attend unto my soul and deliver it, because of mine enemies, rescue me. For thou knowest my reproach, my shame, and my humiliation. Before they are all that afflict me, my soul hath awaited reproach and misery. And I waited for one that would grieve with me, but there was no one, and for them that would comfort me, but I found not. And they ate me gall for my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table before them be for a snare, for a recompense, and for a stumbling block. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and their back do thou continually bow down. Pour out upon them thy wrath, and let thy, the fury of thy wrath take hold upon them. Let their habitation be made desolate, and in their tents let there be none to dwell. For they persecuted him whom thou hast smitten, and to the pain of my wounds have they added. I have iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not enter into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and with the righteous let them not be written. For and in sorrow am I. May thy salvation, O God, be quick to help me. I will praise the name of my God for the nose. I will magnify thee with praise. And this shall please God more than a young calf that hath horns and bones. Let beggars behold thee, and be glad to seek after God, and your soul shall live. For the Lord hath hearkened unto the poor, and not despise them that are fettered for his sake. But the heavens and the earth praise him, the sea and all the creeping things thereof. The God will save, save Zion, and the cities of Judea shall be builded, and they shall dwell therein and inherit it, and the seed of thy servants shall possess it, and they that love thy name shall dwell therein. O God, be attentive unto helping me, O Lord, and make haste to help me. Let there be shame and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and draw to shame that desire evils against me. Let them be turned back straight away in shame that say unto me, O God, and well done. Let them be glad and rejoice in thee, all that seek after thee, O God. Let them that love thy salvation say continually, the Lord be denied and come. As for me, I am poor and needy, O God, come unto my aid. My helper and my deliverer, heart thou, O Lord, make me so long and tarry. Thou down my ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am old. Save thy servant, O my God, that look at the evil. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for the evil I cry all the day long. May 
Let the soul of thy servant come to the end of the dark my soul. Thou, O Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee.
keeping on a prophecy in the same tone. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. There is none because God, no, not one. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Wisdom. The reading from the prophecy of Jeremiah. lamb led to be sacrificed. They plotted an evil device against me, saying, Come, let us put wood in his bread and destroy him, root and branch, from the land of the living, so his name might not be remembered any longer. But, O Lord, thou who judgest righteously, who tests the minds and hearts, let me see thy vengeance on them. For I have revealed my righteous plea unto thee. Therefore, thus says the Lord against the men of Anathoth, against those who seek my life and who say, Do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, lest you die by our hands. Behold, I will visit them. The young men shall die by the word, the sword, and their sons and daughters shall die by famine. There shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring calamities on the inhabitants of Anathoth in the year of their visitation. O Lord, thou art righteous, that I may plead my case with thee to speak to thee concerning judgments. Why does the way of the ungodly prosper, and all who deal treacherously flourish? Thou planted them, and they took root. They bear children, and are fruitful. Thou art near in their mouth, but far from their mind. But thou, o Lord, knowest me, thou hast proven my heart before thee. Set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn and the grass of the field wither because of the vices of those who dwell in it? The cattle and the birds are destroyed because they said, God will not see our ways. Your feet run and grow weary. How then will you prepare yourself to run with the horses? You are confident when the land is peaceful, but what will you do when the Jordan floods the land? Is not my inheritance the cave of a hyena to me, or a cave that walks around? Gather together all the wild beasts of the field, and let them come to devour her. Many shepherds destroyed my vineyard and defiled my portion. They turned my pleasant portion into an impassable desert. It was made a complete ruin. The whole land was utterly destroyed for my sake, because there was no man who took it to heart. For thus says the Lord concerning all the evil neighbors who touch my inheritance, which I divided to my people Israel. Behold, I shall draw them away from their land, and I will cast out Judah from their midst. Then it shall come to pass, after I cast them out, that I will return them and have mercy on them. I will settle them, each in his inheritance and each in his land. Wisdom. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Hebrews. Brethren, having boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us, through the veil that is his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he that promised is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day of approaching. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, 
There no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose he will be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sacrificed an unholy thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace? For we know him that is said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will repay, saith the Lord. And again the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord God. Caesar. 
Then Pilate and Pilate heard that, therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus out and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabbatha. Now it was the preparation day of the Passover, and about the sixth hour, and he said to the Jews, Behold your king. And they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to him, to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he delivered him to them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, called, went out to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him, and two others with him, one on either side, and Jesus in the center. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Then many of the Jews read this title, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Therefore the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write the King of the Jews, but he said, I am the King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. And the soldiers who they had crucified Jesus took his garments and made four parts, to each soldier a part, and also the tunic. Now the tunic was without seam, woven from the top of one piece. They said therefore among themselves, Let us not tear but cast lots for it, whose shall, shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled which said, They divided my garments among them, but for my, and for my clothing they cast lots. Therefore the soldiers did these things. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour that disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel of sour wine was sitting there. And they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on his up, and put it to his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Therefore, because it was the preparation day that the body should not remain on the cross, on the Sabbath, the Sabbath that Sabbath was a high day. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might it be taken away. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other, who was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. So one of the soldiers pierced the side of the spear, and immediately blood and water came out. And he who has seen is testified, and his testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth, so that you may believe. These things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. Not one of his bones shall be broken. And another scripture says, They shall look on him whom they
Forgive them all, for thou art good and loving mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Is, is not 
is it's not um, foreign to this suffering or apart from this pain that we feel, but has himself entered into it, taking upon himself the heaviest cross of all, the sins of the whole world, my sins, your sins, all of ours, taking upon himself, nailed into the cross, and cleansed us through his precious blood, that we might rise with him, rise with him again on the third day. So this is our hope, but especially today on this most solemn day to contemplate of God, God's love for us and his patience endurance of going through all of this, everything that he endured, he suffered, and so they've gone through to it, you kind of, that emphasized uh, the, 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 the cruelty of those who, uh, who did not understand. But Jesus' response, some of God's response is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is, this is the... Um, this is the spirit with which we're to require as we stand before for the, uh, the cross, who, did, who, who, who desired not, who did not come into the world uh, to destroy but to save, as, as he, he told James and John once before. And he came to endure all of this for the, for the salvation, the salvation of us all, for as many as who would believe in his name and accept, and accept his mercy. So God bless you. We'll have the 3 p.m. Um, in the Vespers of Great Holy Friday, the various services. At 6 p.m. on uh, the Mass of Holy Saturday tonight. And tomorrow morning uh, we'll have the uh, Vestal Divine Liturgy at 9 a.m. for Great Holy Saturday. Thank you.